Okay, today I'm going to be checking if you could make a spacesuit out of duct tape. So I had to make a minor modification to my vacuum chamber. I made a little hole in it so I could actually put a glove in there and see what the glove feels like in the vacuum, see how stiff it is. And then after we do the glove experiment, I'll test if you could actually use duct tape to patch a hole in your spaceship. So I'll pretend that this is the hole that we need to patch and see if we could use duct tape to patch it. So first I'll be testing what would happen if you just used a regular latex glove as your space glove in space. And then I'll test a little stronger glove, a gardening glove that has some fiber in it and see what happens if you were to use this in space. And then finally I'll put a duct tape glove in the vacuum chamber and see if it would hold up under the vacuum of space. So first let's see what happens if you were to use a regular latex glove as your glove in your spacesuit. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I just have the glove in here like this. Then I'm just taping it on here to get a good seal and then I can stick my hand in here. Okay, so here's a normal latex glove. So now let's exit our spacecraft and head into space and see what happens with a latex glove. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's no longer a glove, it's a balloon. So you can see how it's just hollow in there. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> so that's what would happen if you wore a latex glove in space. So if we're gonna make a real space glove, then we need some thicker material. So next I'm gonna try a fabric reinforced rubber glove. So this rubber is a lot thicker than the latex and also it has this material inside that is a little bit resistive to stretching. So now let's see if we can get it to a lower vacuum in there and see what happens to the glove. Okay, now I have my gardening glove. Let's see what this looks like under vacuum. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at 0.9 atmospheres. 0 0.8 0 0.7 atmospheres 0.8 We're at half an atmosphere Okay, let's hold it right there. So we're at half an atmosphere And this is just pretty rock hard to move, but I can move it. Let me bend my fingers in here. It's really hard to do anything. There's a lot of force. Okay, and let's keep going now. Okay, I sprung a leak. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, so looks like we got a hole in the glove. So this made it to about half an atmosphere before it gave out. Basically, if you could just give some supports to it, then it wouldn't bow out in the big parts. So let's see if we can do that. So I've added a little duct tape support to keep it strengthened in the parts that were puffing up too much. Duct tape glove, three, two, one. So you can see now that the duct tape is holding it from puffing out so we can get to a much lower pressure. So now I've just strengthened the glove by wrapping duct tape on it, mummy style around each finger and around the midsection of the hand that tends to puff up. Okay, so every time I got a little bit over half an atmosphere, the glove just got sucked into the vacuum chamber. 
uh, because I don't have a really good way of sealing and holding the glove onto the hole. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glove in the vacuum chamber and we should be able to test the same thing. Instead of having it exposed to the hole, I just tied off the end of the glove and put it in the vacuum chamber. So basically we can check if the glove doesn't explode at full vacuum, that means it would work in space. Okay, duct tape glove in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Point four atmospheres. We're at point two atmospheres. Point one atmospheres. Our gloves looking fine in there. Okay, we're at full vacuum now. So it looks like our duct tape held up. So if you had your hand in there right now, it would be really stiff to try to move. Basically because it's pressurized to around 14 pounds per square inch greater than the outside vacuum around it. Okay, so we're at full vacuum right now and our duct tape glove is holding up. Okay, so you can see there are areas of the glove that still don't have duct tape on it, but they're not exploding. So this is just latex here. And the reason they're not exploding is because the surface area is so small. So the greater the area, the greater the force on it. So if you have just a tiny amount of area, then it's not going to explode in the vacuum. So if you have just a small amount of area exposed, it's really not that important. What's important is that you keep the major areas tight and then you can hold in the pressure. Okay, let's let the air back in. Three, two, one. Back to atmospheric. So you can see the glove is totally fine. No holes in it and it's back to atmospheric pressure now. So if you were really going to wear a duct tape spacesuit in space, you'd actually have some problems. Because besides just keeping your suit pressurized, you actually need some more protection. So besides the layers of the suit that keep in the pressure, you also have an innermost layer that protects from micrometeoroids in space. So in the atmosphere, we're protected from these micrometeoroids because they burn up in the air. But in space, you're not protected from them, so they need some thick restraint that stops little tiny rocks from penetrating them. Next, they need protection from thermal radiation, and so they have five different layers of aluminum PET film, which is just mylar. So if duct tape could make a spacesuit, could you use it to patch a hole in your ship? So let's pretend that this is a hole in your spaceship. So out there is the vacuum and in here is your ship and you wanna patch it up, but all you have is duct tape. So let's see if that would work. Okay, can duct tape save your spaceship? Three, two, one. You can see it start to suck in. Point three. Point one atmosphere, it's holding up. Okay, we're at full vacuum now. Looks like the duct tape's holding up. Should we see what happens if we pop it? Three, two, one. Oh, it didn't even break. <laughs> So it looks like duct tape can come in quite handy in space. You can use it to make a impromptu spacesuit, and you can also use it to patch your spaceship. So on the movie Mars, when Matt Damon patches his helmet with duct tape, that's actually very realistic and easily possible because 
this hole was much bigger than the hole he patched and the duct tape can easily hold it up. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about this video, let me know in the comments section or any suggestions you want me to try. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And as always, I'll see you next time. And thanks to Eufy for sponsoring this video. They make an awesome little RoboVac called the RoboVac 11. It's been keeping my floors clean for the last two weeks. <laughs>